One minute. We're, we're fine now. We're fine. It's just my audio software being a douche. That's all. Hi, Burrito. How are you doing? Sorry about that, guys. Night Fox. Thank you. Appreciate you, dude. Hey, Caleb. How you doing? You got bumped from Carbonite 1 to Bronzium 3. No longer trapped. Fair enough. If that's good for you, good. I'm happy. Hey, Jar Jar. How you doing? How is everybody today? Sorry we're late starting the stream today. I was sorting out my internet. So I ordered myself a 50 meter long Ethernet cable to run through the house and I have been routing it through my building. And now I did a speed test. So yesterday when I was trying to stream, I was getting three megabits download and about three megabits upload. I did a I did a, a speed test um, just when I finished sorting it out today. Um, and instead of having three to five, does anybody want to take a, a wild guess at what we got? Anybody want to take a wild guess at what we actually had? Hey, Greg, how you doing today, buddy? What's going on, FN? Exile? Exile says 10. Tigerman says 500. Any other guesses? Guta Forta, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, we're doing great here, Kilroy. Glad you got the tech bugs beat. Well, to be honest, after about two hours yesterday, the internet was fine. It was fine. It was still doing a maximum of 50, but that's still a lot better than the three I was getting. 6,900, 6, over 9,000. It was, in fact, 500 megabits. So, um, yeah, I'm actually doing a speed test right now in the background. And we can see that we're getting... 502 megabit per second download and 59 on the upload. So happy days. Internet is actually bloody working. I know, right, Salvador? It's crazy. It's crazy talk. Essex with the resub. 41 months, dude. 41 months you've been following my sad sap. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you as always, Essex. You're a hero of the people. And you're certainly my hero. Solid numbers, baby. Solid numbers. Hey, Jiggity, how you doing? Wolfie in the chat. How's you doing, Wolfie? How's you doing? <laughs> 0.25 megabits per minute. Oh, burrito. I really hope not. Do, do, ba do, do, ba do, boo, boo. Bloop. So yeah, I'm very, very happy to have done that now and sorted it out. I still got to do a little bit of sorting out of the uh, the cable that's running through my house. It's mostly, mostly harmless, mostly connected where it needs to be. But I need, there's a lot of parts that I need to actually um, uh, finish attaching it to the skirting board and running it under the door. But other than that, other than that, it's looking good. It's looking beautiful, just like my face. <laughs> Alrighty. Today is a momentous day. Why is it momentous, Tiger? Hey, Simo. Things are going quite well. Thank you, buddy. The need for fast Wi-Fi. Indeed. I got a need. The need for fast Wi-Fi speed. It's not quite the same, is it? Not quite the same. But we do try. We at least try. Let's go ahead and slap Sith Assassin about the caboose. Just give him a bit of a love tap on that rump. That's how we roll. That's the kind of man I am. Built the Eiffel Tower out of brawn and steel. Missed me. To do to to do to. Aren't ships great? We love ships. Ships are the best. Have you got heal immunity? I wonder. You do not. Let's give you heal immunity. You don't have heal immunity. Well, you can lick the sack. I think is the official term. Oh, and then you healed up as well. I mean, that's just rude. Who says that you could do these things and get away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids? Bye. Let's go ahead and, um, I mean, yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this. Just get a little bit of the AOE action going. Beautiful. Beautiful. A little bit more of the AOE action, perhaps. Beautiful. And have you got heal immunity now? You, you, of course you don't. Let's heal up. Come on. <sighs> J 
just about beat him out to the ult. Just about. We were this close. We were this close. When do we think we're getting TB rewards? Probably not until the end of the week, I would imagine. MC3 finally hit the 665 raid box. Yes, Tiger. The words conquest and chill don't usually go together for me, but I'm surprisingly enjoying the QA one. Yeah, that's fair. The Queen Armandala one is pretty easy. It's it's nice. It's considerate. There's lots of fle fl feet bleed, so you can do multiple feats at once. Is 120 points on speed with Hux enough for Slacker event one? I'm assuming that means an additional 120. And honestly, I can't remember, Jiggity. What's today's plan? Conquest harder than last time, Salvador. A new song from Fontaine's DC came out. Check it after the stream. It's brilliant. I'll, I'll write that down, shall I? Fontaine's DC. I don't even know the band. Got you playing on the laptop while I work on Conquest. Hell yes, burrito. Hell yes, buddy. That's the way. Unstoppable. We're doing good, man. How are you? I, I don't really feel like doing roster reviews today, Unstoppable, to be honest, buddy. I just want to chill after a very... Like, I'm having the most stressful week. Um, I am full up to the absolute brim with anxiety at the moment. You have the worst data disc RNG this run? Really, Kilroy? I've had pretty good ones, actually, this run. I'm, I'm quite happy. Quite happy. Enjoying is putting it a bit strong. It's not the worst conquest. I really don't mind conquest. I'll be honest, guys. I really don't mind it. Need to get our obligatory one battle in. Look at this Muppet. Hey, Legion, how you doing? Ultimate Nerd of Zelda. Nice name, dude. Hello there. Johnny, how you doing? Last one was great, but this one not so much. No, it's it's just my work, Unstoppable. Um, it's a very busy time for me at work at the moment, and it's stressing me out. Um, it's more about my how I cope with it more than anything. Busy time. Busy time of year. And it's just been one after, one thing after another, it feels like, since December. So it's just like... Ugh. Yeah. Um, collect, collect the stuff. Collect the stuff and the things. Yay! You like Conquest? You don't get... You don't get why everybody doesn't like it. I think it's just, it's not everybody's cup of tea for one, right? And I think the bigger your roster, the more you enjoy it in general as well. Because you have all the toys, right? You don't have to worry so much about stamina. Um, and I, I understand it when people don't like it when the feats are, like, really exclusive. So you can't. You can't hit multiple feats at once, and there's like a bunch of, oh, you must win 40 battles with this team, and 40 battles with this team, and 20 battles with this team without any units dying, and then during the sectors you need to win 14 battles with this faction, and 14 battles with this faction. Like, that sort of stuff really sucks the enjoyment out of it. And I think that's why this version one uh, with Queen Amidala is much, much more enjoyable. Found a funny interaction in Conquest. The data disc invasive endings works well with Night Sisters reviving, making Sector 2 feats a breeze. Yeah, that sounds about right, Ninja. Good business, man. Ah, oh, thank you, Django Hill. That's very kind of you, mate. Welcome to the stream, buddy. It's people who give you rubbish for enjoying it. I know, right? Big roster equals more fun in almost everything in this game. Pretty much, Gilroy Dry. You're not wrong, dude. You're not wrong. It is pretty grindy. It is pretty grindy. I just find it fun when you get some nice data disk setups and you just get to, you know, destroy face. All right, so I need five more battles with rebels and then we'll worry about the rest. That seems like fair, fair business to me. Five more battles with full rebels. I mean, that's a rebel squad. How dare you have an opinion on things, I know, right? Hey, Roy, how you doing, Dave? You alright, mate? 
You'll hit three years in July. In the last six months, you've unlocked five more GLs. That's huge, dude. That's huge, Jax. Um, let's just go on. All right, he died. I wasn't expecting him to fully just straight up die there. But we'll take it. Okay, R2-D2 is just popping off. Those zealous ambitions, really working for R2-D2. Really working for R2-D2. Up, oh, bye Grievous. Let's get some stealths. I think we need some stealths. Get wrecked. Nerd! Pew, 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 pew. Rabble! Rabble, rabble, rabble. <laughs> hey, Senest, I'm good, mate. How you doing? Working on conquest and hoarding all materials to R9 Bane. The second conquest is over. That's sick, dude. You've got no blues, but three green zealous ambitions, so you should be set. Yeah, you should be fine, dude. What am I rocking right now? Blue quickening, green zealous ambition, heal over time, green quickening, stacking offense, zealous ambition. Blue leaders resolve! Like, blue leaders resolve, plus any leader that's that's a support or heal healer, and zealous ambitions is a good time for everybody. It's a very good time for everybody. What's going on, Mol? How you doing today, buddy? I mean, I could save the R2-D2 and then start to spam stealths with, like, C-3PO and R2-D2 and JMK. JMK? Yeah. Um, I don't like Vader. I don't like his face. I don't like his general sense of being. And now he's no longer being at all. He's not even a little being. Not even a little bit. Mm-mm. R2 is just like, I'll casually... Was that 600k? Did R2 basic for 600k then? I love R2. <laughs> Let's give him this so he does more damage. Boop! That was 353. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're making our way. We're making our way. Let's see if we can stall out. Oh, there's no way we can stall out. We're just going to kill everything that we see, aren't we? Because we'll just be like, blarp. People are gonna die, and it's all gonna be gravy. That's gravy, baby. Let's revive. Hiya. Nice. You attach the Soresu disc. It's a four dot capacity disc. I'm not seeing much benefit. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of Soresu, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I do really didn't like him. Wolfie's already on sector six. Damn it, Wolfie, you broke the code, dude. You cracked the code. You cracked the code. You did it. You still remember your several zealous ambitions last time? Yeah. Yeah. I think Night Fox had like three blue ones at one point. That might have been Essex, actually. Somebody had it, and it was nutty. <laughs> you gotta love R2, man. He's just a little demon. He's just a little demon that loves to kill things. Wow. Wow, 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 eh? Sure. Let's do this. Boop. Oh, get wrecked. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. You don't want to mess with the astromech, guys. Nobody messes with the astromech. You had four blue amplify agonies. That was it. That was it, buddy. What are the feats in Sector 4? Also, any globals? Oh, loads of global feats left. Uh, I can't remember Sector 4 feats. We need 14 wins with Rebels. We're only two away from that. Stealth 120 times. I've just been getting some as I've been going along. Ability block 60 times. And then 50 enemies with Imp Troopers. Really not so bad. You found Tebow Lead Ray with Heal Over Time Disc to work like a charm for the stealth feat. Yeah, I mean, I I usually do, um, I usually find something like a Momo node and take in Darth Maul lead full Sith and just sit there and watch them attack me and I'll get it in one battle. 
That's usually how I get it done. What have we got? <gasps> blue quickening. My favorite. Oh, we're definitely getting that blue quickening, baby. I'm all about that blue quickening. Hey, Vader, how you doing? I am Owie. Yeah, I always do the hundreds. Always do the hundreds, buddy. Um, right. What do I want to do? I'll throw in these rebels. No, no, no. I haven't finished all the sector feed, Sardahan. I, I rushed through. I, like, there's no point, in my opinion, in prioritizing getting the sector feats done. You're better served getting to the end of Conquest as quickly as possible. During that process, doing as many as you can organically, but don't redo any battles or anything like that, and then come back and clean up. That's definitely the best way of getting it done. Let's do this. You dead. The only reason these guys are alive is because they're true defense. And they're no longer alive. Ho ho ho, Bazinga with the resub. 37 months. Another one. DJ Bazinga? Not quite the same riff. But thank you, Bazinga. Appreciate you, my man. You're not doing the hundreds because you have two rows of level nine datacron, so I think I'm all right just doing the fifties. That's fair, Owie. That's fair, buddy. I'm trying to build up to an inventory full of datacrons. That's what I'm going for. I want to hit that critical mass so that when it comes to new sets and stuff, when it breaks down, I'm going to have a great time. Will we get yet another Aphrodatacron? Uh, probably at some point, but I wouldn't expect it anytime soon, truth be told. Maybe in three or four more cycles. Because they've, they've shown that Datacrons do repeat. They do bring back old Datacrons. So, it's not against the... Uh, outside of the realms of possibility. Allow me to illuminate the possibilities. Mr. Aladdin, sir, what will your horror be? Yay, down the rebel feet. You just need a pad a bit? Yeah, a little bit of padding. Gungan Datacron's incoming. 100% out of hand. 100%. You really do the hundreds, that's fine. I have five of the new level nines, and I really get much further than that. My problem is generally face people who have like 30 to 40 level nine crons. Yep. You know the solution to that, though, rule of two. Do all six of your refreshes and match them. What's up? Hey, JVP. Can't wait for Gungan crons. Yep, Gungan and Queen Amidala crons incoming. So, I want to apply that new blue quickening. Not that blue entrenched. That blue quickening, that's what I want. Let's get rid of that. I guess we'll get rid of that quickening. Two blue quickenings. That's 16% speed. Huge. Quickening is my favorite data disc. Quail harder. Indeed. Quailing harder is the way. You don't need to spend real money. You just need to spend your, your crystals refreshing. So, one, two, three, four, five... We got five battles. We need to get some kills with Imperial Troopers, was it? Imperial Troopers, it was. So, we're going up against a Hux, so we can't get bonus turn meter at the start. Is Iden's turn bonus turn meter, or is it a bonus turn? I can't recall. If Iden gets a bonus turn at the start, not 100% turn meter, then we can interrupt Hux. It's on a leadership. Um, or is it over here? 100% turn meter. So Hux will stop that, right? That's a shame. Um, maybe the Gungan Datacron will make the Phalanx Omicron active in other game modes. I doubt it. 
If you count anyone who's a data crone, I'm dead anyway. That's Fair Zelda. Yeah, I'm excited to see what Jar Jar's gonna be. I'm excited to see what Jar Jar's gonna be. In which case, let's just go ahead and use this little stealth team. It's full Galactic Republic. It'll get us a couple of stealths. I'm not worried about the stealth ticking over because I have a solution for all the stealths in one battle regardless, but this will count towards our global feat. We're nearly done with the Galactic Republic wins, so I think we need nine more victories. I'm not going to reset the cooldowns because I want to save that. I would like to save the resetting of cooldowns. Wham -bam. Here we go. Roll this out, get some stunnage. Stealthed a bunch of people, so I could just reset that cooldown. I'll do this. I think this stealths as well, right? More stealth. Oh, you did. You so did. Is it this one? Meh. More stealth. Wasn't a load. We got some stealth. There's nothing wrong with that. Rule of two. You you must have missed that part where I literally said that like two minutes ago, yeah? <laughs> Imagine a simple Jar Jar Datacron. All Gungan Omis active. All Gungan craziness active. Yep. All right. Let's see if we can get some uh, Imp Trooper kills, was it? Sure. Imp Trooper kills. Is Mace's Omi any good? Yeah, it is. It's a TW Omi, but it's good. Your alt free to play got out of carbonite. You're scared. That's a good thing. Turns out these guys are pretty quick. Let's see if we can get some dazes. Abs oh, of course, they've got a bunch of extra tenacity, haven't they? I mean, it's obviously not going to matter, but it's not the point. Get an armor shred. Rude. Let's just poke him in the face. Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. You want me to go all in. That's fine. I can manage that. Very good. Boop. I have you both up and alternating muting. Oh yeah, yeah I've, are you are you watching somebody else at the same time? Rule of two. That is that is terrible. Bonsoir, symmetry. Ah, uh, me and Rabbit Beaver. Gotcha. Yeah, Rabbit Beaver's good people. Is he on his um? Hey, PK. Thank you for the twenty subs, twenty months, buddy. Appreciate you. Dabs in British. A dab in British is like this. Oh, sipping the cup of tea that you threw carelessly into the Boston docks. I don't know. Cheers, PK. Appreciate you, big man. You're going to have TW... You're only going to have TW armies for a long time. Poggle, Mace, Droidica, nothing I'm working on in Gak, but it's got to help the guild. Hey, that's a good stance to take, Zelda. I've got two armies available right now, but I'm saving them for Jar Jar, and PK's in here, so shh, don't tell anyone, PK. I know you hate GEC armies. Imagine not being ready for Jar Jar. Couldn't be Scribble and I. I mean, you're absolutely... Fl oh, crap. Fleet. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Hey, Stelios, what's, your, what's up, dude? What team comp are you running for light side Mandos? Bo-Katan Mandalore? That's probably not a very helpful answer for you, is it? Doing the Lord's work, I try my best. I try my best. Um, but if you don't have Bo-Katan Mandalore, you'll have to, like, you're better off apparently going with um, OG Bo-Katan lead. And then I would just run Armour and Bam and whatever other light side mandos you have sabine if you have you know but obviously the best one is just use bo katan mandalore's team hey we landed the heal immunity 
Yep, I'm very happy to be Jar Jar ready. We are indeed 100%uals of the Jar Jar ready. Um, he's got over 50% health, so let's save the big hitter. Ooh, nice! Double bubble, baby! Oh, yeah? You were, ex you were expecting a release this week? Yeah, we were talking about it on Tribe Talks the other day. We're thinking it's probably going to be May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Go on, get rid of this guy. Lap. Not quite. Get rid. Thanking you. Well, let me get straight down to the point. Down, down. May the Schwartz be with you, indeed. May the Schwartz be with you. My Schwartz is bigger than yours. We like Schwartz, Schwartz. Slap it. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Let me deal with that guy. And then he has to go in and heal like a douche. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, come on. Die already. There we go. Auto. You know, not only PK is hearing about your Gak army plan. Eyebrow goes up. I'm... Um... Evo. You... You... Shh. Don't tell anybody. You're not a TW officer or anything, are you? Do we usually get the crystal packs for Conquest character after the third round? I don't know, Symmetry would be the answer. I'm sure there'll be some rather useful um, people in chat that can help out. Don't go looking at my Zaders then. Have I seen the new Boston Dynamics robot? No, I actually haven't. Last thing I saw from them was their little dog thing. Hey, big scribal! Scribble a little time with me. Stream safe. Woohoo! Come on, me old mucker. Rabba dabba dum bum bum. Bum ba dum bum bum bum. Definitely gonna spook some people. Tempted to save a crystal stashed whale. Uh, uh, well and fail in the case yeah um i'm i'm building up my crystals right now because i want to be i want to be in a good position for master qui-gon jin and padawan ben should i work on relicking malak first or your sorty sith is a six need nines and the droid is a two needs a five what do you need sorty for Sorty a requirement for something I can't even remember. I'm so done with the journey guide. <laughs> IPD is just like, it's me. I'm Mario. It's needed for Leviathan. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, well, they're both Leviathan Rex, right? So do Malak first. He's actually useful. Thank you, PK. It was a long, hard grind, but we got it done in the end. That's what she said. Yeah. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Gun guns. They are 100% complete and ready for the Jar Jar unlock. I, I, today, I put all the Zetas on and blew all my Zeta mats. Isn't that lovely? I mean, Phal Phalanx still doesn't have any mods on him, but I'm not using this team, so... Not until Jar Jar comes out. Nice whaling. Thank you, Rule of Two. It was very successful whaling. It was very successful. Obviously, I'm going to have to take them all to Relic 8 for the raid, but for now, Relic 5 will do. Um, after this one, there'll be one more FN. One more after this one. But, but, but Sorty has a conquest army. That's exactly what CG's probably thinking. They're like, why are people not... But she, do they not know that she has a conquest army crown? Do they not know? Look at that. Eight more victories with Galactic Repubic. Do, do, do. 
and R9 Phalanx. I'm not, I am not Carthric. I can't just willy nilly R9 units. You know this. Yes, you can, Jar Jar. It's a wonderful way of doing it. Swagger.gg is th showing 352 Phalanx Omicrons. People are crazy, guys. People are crazy. Why would you put that Omicron on? You're giving CG false hope. Um, I feel like I do this just to call the mass assist and kill people. Like that. Oh, I didn't got mad. Uh-oh, uh-oh, danger, danger! Had to get a bunch of stuns, didn't you, Palpatine? You big douche. And full odds dodge. Never mind. If there was no buff immunity on Scout, we would have been totally fine there. Totally fine. Look at Aiden just... <laughs> trying to solo the team. We got one kill, guys. It was totally worth it. Peak gameplay. Absolutely popper. You know it. Some people have more money than common sense. I mean, that's true. CG is now played by John Cleese. <laughs> they should be so lucky. Scribe will be 353. I really won't, buddy. I, I promise you I won't. All right. Let's go back in with this. And instead of having Stormtrooper, we're not throwing in Leia. We'll just throw in what? Because I, I am not messing around with this. We're just going in. Just to have to farm out Smudge like a stud horse to pay for that R9. I mean, he's got pretty good genes. I don't know if you've seen Smudge, but... He's a winner, you know? How flipping fast is that TIE fighter pilot? Holy moly guacamole. Oh, well, you're, you're all just a bunch of douchebags. Now I get to have the power. Or not. Now I get to have the power. <laughs> Game over. Oof. That is what I would call pain for you. <laughs> Good. That's just basic. Basic him to death. To death with you. Plink, plink. Yeah, let's get some TM. I'm just going to armor shred you. Because you're a big dun- Okay, you're dead. That was a really fast TIE fighter pilot, man. Not on board with stupidly fast TIE fighter pilots. This conquest is both easy and a pain in the ass at the same time. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. See, we could probably use something like this for the Sith feet to get the stealth. If you know what I mean. We could do that right now. Should we just should we just deliberately drop a battle to get the stealth feet done? Sith for the Sith. Sugar for my honey. Where's Darth Maul? There he is. Let's throw in Malak and Malgus and um, Savage and Set. You blew that note up with Dash, PK. Hell yeah, Pete. Your, the boss note, bo the Maul boss note was your least favorite. It's always good fun, isn't it? Hey, Nathan, how you doing? Let us get our stealth feet done. You're just going to cause Malak to taunt. You know that, right? If I go auto basic. Yes, give me stealths. Give me stealth. Give me stealth or give me freedom. Give me stealth or give me freedom. Do da, do da. Give me stealth or give me freedom. All the do da day. Hey! All the do da day. All the do da day. Better to save up what than waste what now, Symmetry? Sorry? With no more Omis left to apply. Oh, right, I see what you mean. Yeah, there are people like that. There are crazy people like that. I don't know if there are 350 of them, though. Maybe there are 350 of them. I, I have no idea. Maybe, pe maybe some people are that crazy that they're just like, you know what? I'm totally cool with just placing... You know, 
an army on, on Phalanx, even though it's basically useless. Give me those stealths. Give me that stealth. Give me, give me, give me that. Give me that stealth. Yeah, man. Let's be having you. Ba -do -ba -do -boop. Boop -do -boop. Boop -do -boop. We have six hula over times. It fully healed us. Isn't that wonderful? We'll be here for about three um, three minutes and 17 more seconds. How many of those people are blindly hitting the upgrade button not realize they messed up? Well, maybe that maybe that's true, dude. Maybe that's true, man. Where, where the hell did they go? What, what happened to those units? Where did they go? I wasn't watching. What happened? Where did, where did they disappear to? Oh, Savage is ramping offense. <laughs> Savage is ramping offense. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take Savage out. He's dealing too much damage. Oh, that was funny. We were at like 59 stealths or something like that. 49 stealths out of 120. Um, and that's the wrong button. Whoopsie. I had I had heal over time with stacking offense data discs on, didn't I? So Savage was just ramping and ramping and ramping and ramping. Okay, we're okay. We only need another 28. 28 more stealths. 28 more stealths will be fine. Everybody. I mean, I don't want it on him anyway. We could just put it on Piet. Just recover that so that we... And let's get rid of you and put Watts and Ball back in. I just want to make sure that I get the turn. Is the first crate on normal better rewards than the last crate on easy? I'm not sure. I know that the first crate on hard is better than the normal rewards max crate. Excited for CG to give us bonus armies for having Gungan army? I hope so. I would consider applying it then. Alrighty then. Let's get that TM. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's a terrible thing to do. I obviously have forgotten the ways of stuff and things and am a silly little sausage. I forget that they can't lose turn meter when they've got debuffs. I'm just a moron. Basically. Basically, your boy Scribble has got no brains. You got no brains, boy! Um, Let's go over here. Loop. Loop. I feel like this will kill Malak. It very nearly killed Malak. But very nearly is not kill Malak. Thank you so much for the follow there, Shouter. Appreciate you. Let's get rid of Malak. Because I don't like his face. Sure, let's do this for no reason. That is one highly defensive Sith Marauder. Highly defensive. I'm just attacking him and he's like, these guys are support types. They're supposed to be doing crap loads of damage and they're doing like 20k. See, he took 277. Let's get rid of that. Um, oof, Marauder Solos. He's only mostly dead. That's true. That's true. Mostly harmless. Right, let's, let's stop faffing around now. Let's stop faffing around. He gets defense for all your buffs. Yeah, something like that. Let's just throw this in. Third on normal. Ah, okay. What's your GC video? Thank you. What is the Proving Grounds event at the or of the Conquest Pass Plus exactly? Okay, so Proving Grounds, Asajj, I'm really sorry. I totally forgot to talk about Proving Grounds in that Conquest video. Essentially, Proving Grounds is an event that comes round at the end of... Um, great miss. At the end of Conquest. You're able to get historic Conquest characters from it. With the Conquest Plus Pass, you get two attempts at it. Well, two days of it. So you get extra shards. If you are catching up on very old Conquest units, it's incredibly valuable. Incredibly valuable. I don't know how Proving Grounds slipped my mind, but it did. 
It did. Yay. Let's just um, do stuff and things. Come on. Come on, everybody. Roll it out. Bloop. And bloop. I'll do this for the true damage. You love it when your sister's cat sleeps in your bed while you game. Aww. It's a wonderful thing having a cat, isn't it? It is a wonderful thing. On second thoughts, let's not go to Camelot. It is a silly place. I'm not going to do that, baby. If I can drag this out just a smidgen, that would be lovely. Isn't this magical? Stealth time. Pew pew. Sure. Uh, yeah, let's roll this out. Bloop. Beautiful. Let's just farm that stealth just a little bit. Ooh, ah, uh, just a little bit. Ooh, ah, uh, farm stealth more. Oh, yes. Glory. Oh, tech meant business then. Tech meant business then. We've got the rather wonderful bug going on in our ear poles right now. You can also make a separate video regarding Proving Grounds. Maybe advertise some teams for that. I wish I could, Devon. Honestly. Honestly. I do have people offering me access to their accounts to run Proving Grounds. Part of my issue is I can't do any of the Proving Ground missions because CG doesn't let you. I should get in contact, actually. Let me... I'm going to message Meathead to see if he can do anything like that. Screw you, Night Fox. I've just seen your DM. You cheeky son, son of a gun, you. You cheeky son of a gun, you. Here is my formal petition to gain access to those events with zero rewards. Pulls. Okay, thanks, bye. I'm sure Meathead will listen to me and just give me access, right? That's, that's what he does. He just bends to my every whim, right? Do you think we'll ever be able to play against friends or guilds mates? Been waiting eight years. I don't think so, Stelios, to be honest. You heard that Padme can clear some of the Proving Ground tiers. Does anyone know if she can three-star? No idea. If you want to, you know I could send you all the videos as I don't use mine. Feel free. Thank you, Wampra. I'm going to try and remember to put out a Malgus video when it comes around. Hell yeah, Baldy. Yeah, screw that Night Fox dude. He took all... His GL's a better relic than mine now. That's just rude. You know what? Screw you, Night Fox. I'm not having it. I'm not having it, Night Fox. Not having it, mate. Okay? It's just not happening. No. Screw you. <laughs> there we go. We finally took C to relegate. He's been there for years. He's been at Relic 7 for years. <laughs> You're a bad influence, Night Fox. Only eight. Yes, only eight. <laughs> MJ, you're a worse influence, mate. All right, what are we doing? Finishing conquestuals. Um, 
Do I really need three stealths? Three. That was secretly your plan all along? You are devious. You are absolutely devious, good sir. I'll take that large stimmy. Anybody else get a large stimmy? I got a large stimmy just then. Dark Trooper Moff Gideon surviving. Light side only. Contradictory! Should we, should we, um, should we do light side only? And use dash? I think we should. Let's go scoundrels. I want... Dash. Should we take in hand Chewy and... Bam? Actually, let's not take in hand Chewy. Let's take in Bam still. We'll take in a Shroker. And then we'll take in Queel and IG-11. Let's do it. Your last GL to Relic 9 is JMK. I'm still stalling. Yeah. My favorite faction slash character? My favorite faction to play is either Mole Mandos or standard CLS Rebels. That is a fast mole, baby. That is a very fast mole. I mean, it makes me a little bit sad that this is the case over here. Hopefully we get an interrupt with Bam. We do. How wonderful. There we go. Is it my turn yet? Not good enough. Not good enough. I was expecting greater things than this. Let's swap this over. How dare you. keep dash alive let's keep the dream alive the problem is is we can't crit them no crits makes me as oh aoe correct people often forget that ig11 is a healer which means he does bonus damage we need to get to that mole definitely can't go into whistling birds right now oh thank goodness he used the aoe Get wrecked. Nerd! Hey! Hey, Twist, how you doing, buddy? So was I. What did we get here? A terrible data disc. Pretty bad data discs in all, really. I'll probably take the blue core stick just to have it. Summon Separatist allies have got 25% max health, max protection speed, and their damage de dealt is increased by 20 Like, this is just terrible. So, it's basically a 3-dot data disc that gives us 12.5% health, protection, speed, and we deal 12.5% more damage. Because how often am I going to be using Separatists for a 3-dot? No, thank you. I'll just take that blue caustic. I was just disappointed my dash didn't go first. Considering we've got a blue leader's resolve over here. Blue leader's resolve, which is 24% speed, and two blue quickening, which is an additional 16%. So 40% bonus speed on our dash there. Shame Caustic has none of his friends to melt the enemies. No, but it does have some use. It does have some use. Alrighty then. Sector 5. What have you got for me, buddy? Soresu? Oh, man, trash data disks. I'll take it. But it's just not a very good data disk. I'll take it just to have it, because it's purple and pretty. Just like me. I forget what the feats are for Sector 5. Let's have a look. Inquis units. Nice. 14 battles with no tanks. That's so annoying. Uh, attempt 80 blinds and evasion down. So that's just like CLS team, basically. Use a CLS team a bunch of times. Let's do that. The only problem with CLS is there's no real support. There is a support. It's C-3PO. So he doesn't do any damage. So we're kind of dependent 
on just standard people hurting people, doing damage. Actually, is Chewy Chupio a support or is he an attacker? I can't recall. I think he's a support. I think he's an attacker. You saw. My sword's gear, tw gear 12, Rodrigo. I don't think he'd do much. Maybe I'm wrong. Yay. You gotta love all that crazy, crazy damage. Alright. I'm just gonna do this to get rid of that, because I don't like them. I was really hoping that we would be able to get through to that AoE from Chupio in time. But turns out they're just gaining stupid amounts of turn meter and double healing. Very, very rude, if you ask me. Alright. That was nice. Can I can I get a can I get a turn? I hate Night Sisters, man. <laughs> They're so annoying. It's just like, yeah, I'm gonna keep you perma stunned, generate turn meter, strip yours away, and just never let you take a turn. What a bunch of bitches. Could drop Rex in there. Uh yeah, he's a support. You're just about to get stun locked the whole time. Yep. Always a good time. You threw yours against a bunch of bounty hunters? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure Phoenix will do fine. I just need to not take in Kanan. Right? I'd have to not take in Kanan. But then again, does that... Does that... No, I'll, I'll stick to... I'll just... I'll drop C-3PO and throw in Captain Rex. I think that's the better choice. I think that's the better choice. Because this will kill stuff. Hey, Kaicho, how you doing, buddy? Because I still want to be getting those evasion downs and stuff. Oh, my. Don't immediately go after Captain Rex. Absolute douchebags. Good. Can I please get a turn with my Captain Rex? He's just sat there at basically full turn meter the whole time. I thank you. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. All I wanted. One turn with Captain Rex. Hey, Shara, how you doing, honey? We're good. How are you? Oh, Kaicho, I'm sorry you're not doing so well, buddy. I'm sorry, man. Always here to talk if you need it, buddy. All right. That's what stem packs are for, because that's what heroes do. Righty then. Pew 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 pew. Don't kill my chewy. Don't stop it! Whew. What a bunch of douchebags. Like, I get 100% turn meter and he's like, I'll get more. Sometimes, sometimes conquest is frustrating. I'm like, I just want one turn with this guy. Is that too much to ask? Is it too much to ask for one turn with Captain Rex? Sometimes? You're doing alright, thank you. I'm glad. I know, Kaicho. I know the feeling, buddy. Oh, hopefully, hopefully things will be okay later. All right. Crap data disks. Crap data disks. Cool. GG. GG should be fine. He says, with a hope and a prayer. Why don't you use the first special or blinds? Four blinds. Because I just want to kill him, Devon. To be honest. I just want to kill him. Like here I would absolutely use the first special. But not for the blinds. Just to get rid of the stealth. Just to get rid of stealth. That's so rude. That is so rude. This dispels. Did he really just dodge the dispel? God damn it, man. God damn it. 
For goodness sake, Shaky Jake. Let's go for the big hitter. Nice. Clapped him. Just wanted to say thanks for the slacker guide. Ah, oh, John. I'm glad I could help, buddy. You have a feeling it will be in two weeks, sadly, but it will be better sooner. I hope so, fella. I hope so. Uh-oh. They have their own Phoenix team. How are we getting on with these? We might be better served. Um... Oh, shit. I do need to do the blinds, don't I? <laughs> we might be better served just finding a crew node. We'll do that instead. We'll find a crew node. We'll just go in with a bunch of no attackers right now. That's that's the new plan. Although it will work against these guys as well. That's an interesting... We could get it done now. It should work against these guys. I really need to get a drink, but I keep going into battle after battle after battle. I need to Hakuna my Tartars just a smidgen. Bring it all back. Um, I don't really want Sabine doing anything. Because she is a horrible, horrible person. I needed to not take in Rex for this. That's what I needed. If I really wanted to do this properly. Do, do, do. Blinds! Are we blind? No, but you are. I needed to drop Rex and put in C-3PO. Hey, at least we got some blinds, I guess. We can come back and do it. Yeah, screw it. Let's just get it out. Just whip it out. Whip it real good. Hey. No oh, chopper hanging in. He was. GL Sabine. Yeah, she could be a bit of a threat. She could be a little bit of a threat. Let's grab a drink whilst I remember. Good. I'm pretty certain all of these data disks were kind of trashy. I mean, Fortified is okay. I guess I'll take the Fortified data disk. Better than nothing. Thoughts on H2O? It's a wonderful, wonderful, high-quality drink. This is carbonated H2O. Nicely done, Kaiju. Getting through to the boss battle in Sector 3. This is another good team to have. So, Galactic Republic and we need no tanks. Padme. Check. Actually, wait a minute. I've probably got teams made up for this. Probably. What have we got? Inquisitorious kills. Obviously, you can't use this because that's a tank. Blind evasion, no tank. We'll save that for later. No tanks, no tanks, mini boss, and boss. I'll use this one because this one has got... Um, is full Galactic Republic. Yeah, that's what we think, Pete. Yeah. It's going to be good. Water sucks. Gatorade is better. It's got electrolytes. Symmetry prefers chemistry. I'm glad you prefer chemistry. It's also got electrolytes.
Let's just get rid of Visa so she can't revive anyone, I guess. Oh, I forget GMY is a support. So he's going to clap some cheeks. Let's do a spready. <clears throat> Heal him up. GMY with the big numbers. Alright, good. Good times. I'm glad we did this. Well, he got absolutely destroyed. GMY, do you think, buddy? Wait for it. There we go. Ethanol. Is, th is that the chemical compound for ethanol? And we're back in the room. Mike Software crapped out. Sorry, guys. Sorry. You finally got Jedi Knight Luke today. Congratulations, Hod Hod. But your credit pours for the fellow stay at level 75. Ugh. Brutal, mate. The moment you touched your headphones. Uh, yeah, it was, that was a coincidence, actually, because the sound cut out. Well, it's not a coincidence. The sound cut out my headphone for a second, so I was like, huh? Uh, that was one of my audio softwares crashing spontaneously, um, which in turn cut out the mic. So. Feel like forever. Let's see. Can we just do a big hit over here and blap? Cool. And get rid of you. Of course, of course you go directly after her, you little nasty person, you. Heal up. Padme teams have got to be the most annoying thing in Conquest. In my opinion. In my opinion, Padme teams are the devil. They are the devil. What's going on, Zymergy? How are you doing today, buddy? Gotta get to work. Hey, peace out, Beaver. Hope you have a good one, bro. I don't know if you just raided into us, by the way. There's no notification on YouTube if that happens. Steadfast Retribution is the dumbest. And, like, the one that we get for our, our characters is not even nearly as good. You just JML them and call Holder over and over again. Any way to manage three stuff? Uh, you can do it with C and with gas and stuff. It could do this. Ah, gotcha, Beaver. But thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Is it tomorrow? Is it tomorrow that you're doing your um your subathon, or is it later? Is it next week or something? Just do this. And in a perfect world, we just get to yeet us, delete us with kitty cat. Buy gas. And then everybody gets to have a good time. Do a spready. Oh, get wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. What a nerd. Do, 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 do. Pass it over to GMY. Oh, you did, son. Love it. Next Thursday. Gotcha, buddy. 
how have I modded my JMK? My JMK is currently modded for, um, I want to say offense. Johnny? Currently he's modded for offense, not speed. Because I don't feel like in the current meta, speed is all that important on him. So I'm, I'm not sure how he's modded at the moment. Let's, let's have a look. Yeah, he's only 530 speed, but he's got 13k offense and a crit damage triangle. So it's probably offense on the cross, crit damage on the triangle. Yeah. And then just some offense secondaries where I've got him. It's quite a nice mod. Like that could be calibrated better, I guess. Get rid of that protection, hope to get some more offense. That's quite a nice mod. Would like to lose that potency onto speed, but can't have everything in life, guys. Yeah, I've been testing this type of modding for JMK recently, just because it really doesn't feel like speed matters, and I'd rather... Like, he can hit really hard. If you mod him for offense, he really can hit. You've been using your Qui-Gon team on the boss one node to get uh, kills plus foresight. Good stuff. We should probably Inquisitorious this, just because they've got two revives. Why not? Why not get a little bit of double bubble action going on? I mean, it would have been great if we, you know, didn't have to use Reva, but hey. We need to be happy with small things that, uh, things at, at least lots of people say like this. Uh, yeah, finding joy in the little things is important. Your setup for the past event was massively overpowered. Too hot, too entrenched. Every turn was triggering that. Yeah, that's the great thing about heal over time, man. Heal over time, if you get a blue one, I think it does four buffs. Four heal over times. So you could get like three of them. And then one dot. Three of them immediately triggers massively overpowered. It's great. It's huge. Let's torture this guy. That sounds wrong. Don't take that the wrong way, Twitch. We're not actually torturing people. Although, this is pretty painful for them. Inquis are one of the best conquest teams to have. I'll clarify that as Reaver Inquisitorious. 8 hots plus 2 protections up from Trenched. Mm -hmm. If you have 130 quad may shards now, I hate that name, I'll be honest. Um, can you aim for a lower crate than the gold one? No, not if you want to. Like, you'll unlock her, you just won't unlock her in three. Oh, that's huge. Do we just get double bubble? Absolutely, I'll just use that again then. So instead of the standard five kills with Inquisitorious, we get seven each turn. Do, 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 do. You want to impress your guild? Definitely impress your guild by unlocking Padme first time around. Queen Armadala. Quamadala. I'm just going to call her Queenie. Let's be honest. That's what I'm going to be calling her. Queenie. Get wrecked, you nerd. Nerd! Beautiful. You went Conquest Plus, so you can double up on the catch-up. Nice one, Lord. That, like, Conquest Plus, if you are behind on Conquest units, is huge. It's so valuable. Queenie slays. Absolutely right. Slay Queen. <laughs> How am I new Gungan? Seven star already? I wailed, Kaicho. Do you remember me doing those roster review streams? Those roster review streams? We were raising money to whale on the Gungans. And we got it done. We got it done. I'm going to probably keep doing roster review streams to raise money for um, Master Ben and Padawan Obi-Wan as well. But I don't think we're going to be as lucky with those. I don't think they'll give us nice ones. Bane surviving. Oh, that's impossible. We can't win with Bane. It, it can't be done, guys. It, can't, it literally can't be done. Why do you keep throwing this trashy data disc at me? <sighs> mm. 
doop, doop. So no real good data disks. It'd be kind of sexy to have a second leader's resolve. Could you imagine? They stack. Two blue leaders resolve. That'd be huge. I've already got voluntary. I've seen it like seven times this one. Seven times. I'm not using it at the minute. But you got conquest past normal because I'm too broke for that. Yeah, that's absolutely fair, Johnny. That's absolutely fair, mate. I'm only running the normal one. Mini boss. C Bane. Let's give it a try. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. Um, I'm not sure, Night Fox, because I've never done a Queen Amidala cosplay. I've done a Princess Leia cosplay. Who should we link here? I think I'll link Vader. And I guess Wampa? I guess? Who knows? Ah, uh, there's no way we win this, guys. We can't win this. this. It's impossible. It's impossible. Nobody can win this battle. Nihilus being a douche. Let's go after him, because he's a douche. Saki Saki. Yes. Good. Good. Slap. I'm, I'm looking forward to a nice big slap from you. Oh, thank you. Thank you kindly. I'm so glad he didn't cull my Bane. I'm sure Bane would have survived, but it would have been a little bit scary. A little bit scary. Whoop, whoop. All right. Heck, heck, heck. How dare you? All right, time to delete. Good. Good. Ah. I guess we could relink. W why not? Why not relink? Correct, Kaijo. That was my one-year Twitch anniversary. It's actually my fourth fourth year anniversary next month. And I haven't planned anything. And I'm very busy as well. Very busy. So I don't know when we're going to actually have the celebration. I don't know when it's going to be. Normally what we do is like a 24 hour stream. But I might be getting too old for that. Might be too old for that shit, you know. When I'm watching your live stream, it gets interrupted by two ads. Do you get any of that ad revenue or does it go? Does it benefit the channel? Is that on YouTube? I, I don't click any buttons to run any ads on YouTube or Twitch. That's by YouTube's discretion. Um, I imagine I might get a kickback from it, but I don't actually know. I'm not sure is, is the answer. Usually that's how YouTube monetizes all of its channels, right? When people watch, it's not really them watching. It's them watching adverts that gets you um, ad revenue, basically. So I assume probably, but I don't actually know. After all, why shouldn't I relink? Indeed, Obi-Wan. Darth Bane survived! We did it! I thought it was an impossible mission. Too old. Yep. Is there any way to see that? Uh, to see what, Kaicho? Sorry, buddy? Let's have it in Vegas. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take a trip to Vegas next month. Do -do, do -do -do -do. You do get ads sometimes on YouTube? That's fair. Give us 10 ads to listen to your voice. Oh, the cosplay. Uh, it It's three years old, so I think the VODs have disappeared, but I think there's still a Twitch clip of it. I think there's still a Twitch clip of me shaking my ass in a... Uh, in a Padme... A Padme? In a Princess Leia costume. Let me find it. Hang on. I'm pretty certain... And if I go over here...
And I look at my stats, and down here somewhere, where is it? It'll be on clips. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Uh, it's Smudgy eating a donut. Both very tough. <laughs> this was his first donut. <laughs> and this is how Smudge got fat. Look how skinny he was there. <laughs> Look at his mouth. <laughs> He, he so wants that donut. Look at him. <laughs> oh, little young smudges. <laughs> you gotta love the smudge bear, guys. You gotta love smudgy bear. Hey, what's going on, Janus? How you doing, buddy? Worst strip club ever? Yeah, it wasn't the best. I uh, know. That wasn't the... No, I wasn't wearing that one. Wasn't wearing the Hut Slayer one. I remember him... Yeah, he didn't want... He didn't want the jam. He didn't want the jam. He just wanted the donut. Is greatly disturbed. Hey, Grievous, mate. You're not disturbed at all. You can hear you saying it. <laughs> he craves the sugar. Apparently, they like the oils. And Smudgy continuing to eat the donut. Turns out bo is pretty good. What is this clip? This one's very recent. Oh, Hondo's screwed, buddy. Capturing Paz probably wasn't his best idea. <laughs> Boop. Yeah, she's quite scary. Whoop. I never watch my own clips. It's nice to go back and see them. It's not like this. This clip over here is really old. And then... You see some like this one over here, which is relatively new, is kind of catching up on the old clipperoos. That's nice to see. That's nice to see. I need I need people at home to be clipping the clipping the YouTube uh, the Twitch streams more frequently, guys. You you need to be clipping more frequently. I want to have memories memories of my time streaming. That's what I would like. So the the onus is on you at home. The onus, not the anus. All right, you heard. The onus is on you at home. Oh, I've just seen Devon wants treats for Smudge Bear. Let's go grab that. Let's go get that bear. <laughs> Anus is at home. Got it. He's a little bit bigger now than in that last clip. 
Good boy, Smidgey. Good boy. Good boy. He's so chill. Good night. Good night. Yeah, last one. Last one, my bear. Like Dreamy Dust? Good bear. Indy. You going to behave today? Hey. She never behaves. Gemini. I ow. Hey Roger, how you doing, buddy? Ah, claws in the. Oh, your cat loves olive oil. Ow! Here for the dreamies. You are indeed, Rob. Ow! She's a good girl. Come on, Indy. Really hoping they would fix the delay in B1s. Yeah, so die. so was I, but it looks like it's a no. You got one that looks just like him, only skinnier now since he's 18 plus years old. Oh, you got an old boy. That's lovely. I think she loves your fingers more than the treats. She does love biting me. Fingers may be tasty. Well, apparently, according to Indy, they're very tasty. Do I ever give them catnip? Danny, I've given them catnip a couple of times. Uh, Indy wasn't phased last time we used them, and I've only ever found one that worked with smudge. And I bought the same one again, and nothing. Nothing. This one time that I did use it with him, he became a drooling mess. Genuinely. It was on a scratching post, like a, a little cardboard scratching pad. You lie it down on the floor. Came with its own pack of catnip. Put that over it and he just like started rolling on it, dribbling out of his cheeks. He was sopping wet, like literally you touch him and he felt wet because he was drooling so much. And he just, he was there for about half an hour, just rolling on it. Just, it was really funny, really funny. Do you get massively overpowered or quickening? Feel like the epic discs are semi useless since they take too many slots. You, with heal over time, you can get a good setup with um, massively overpowered. I just prefer a bunch of quickenings. It's my personal preference. Thanks for the clip one, Pratt. Appreciate you, dude. For some reason, when I click it, it doesn't work on that particular chat. Let me try the other one. There we go. <laughs> she proper bit then. <laughs> That's a good clip. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. <laughs> she was like, hey, what? <laughs> um, right, what feats am I working on here, guys? Uh, where did you go to get your logo done? In that light behind me? Uh, the one in the background there? This one? That's um, That's not my logo. That's that's from Govi. They've got these. They're called glide lights on Govi. So that's G O V double E, and I just arranged them in an S shape. Yeah, that's all that is. 
fingers are where the dreamies come from. They are. They are. Um, so yeah, this back here. I want to get more of these because you can get more and just clip them all together. Oh, this one over here. This one here. This one. Uh, that one there, I couldn't tell you. Mrs. Scribble got, got me that as a gift. So I, do, I don't actually know. I don't actually know. I'll, I'll ask her. I'll ask where she got it from, and I'll, I'll see if I can pass that on to you, buddy. But it's just, it's literally just a bit of acrylic. See? So it's just a little bit of acrylic. Plastic that sits in a light. And it just shines through. The one on the wall, you thought it was uh, an effect? No, that's real lights. It's real lights. Check it. They're great. I love them. I love the ambiance it gives the room. I've got quite a few lights in here, actually. Quite a few lights. So there's the ones you can't see, which is I've got two two lights here in front of my face. These are like little floodlights, one here, essentially. And the other one is over here, over there. Swarms. Um, and those do the same sort of light that's in the background here. So that one side is like an orange, the other side is a teal. So it gives a little bit of color here on the face. Um, and then I've got my two Elgato lights. These are key lights and a key light A. Then I've got some going around the desk. You can't see that anymore, but you used to be able to see that. Then there's the, obviously, the Scovy lamp. And then these lights here and the lamp over there. The lights that make an S, Calvin's got them on the wall making a C. Oh, cool. Nice. Fortified Leader's Resolve or Protection Shield. I would take Leader's Resolve, personally, Edo. But that's only if you don't already have one. She is a thoughtful woman. She is a very good woman. So yeah, I was thinking of adding to this S back here to make a little G as well, connected to the bottom of it. So it'd be like, Scribe Gaming. Scribe Gaming. Um, what have we got? Uh, no tanks. Fine. And a bunch of blinds. You've got one of those acrylic thingies at the Fan Expo in Toronto, but it has the Punisher skull. That's kind of sick. That's kind of sick. Not gonna lie. Bip. Boop, boop, boop. Let's use Ray, because I never use Ray. I literally never use Ray. Let's use her. Ah, good times, good times. This is what I needed today, guys, was just a nice, chilled stream. I got very annoyed yesterday. As I mentioned at the start of the stream, I'm, I'm having a really stressful week this week, and I, I know that sounds like I'm complaining. Um, and I am, I guess. But um, when, when the internet just wasn't working yesterday, I got in such a stressed out and foul mood. I was not good company. I was not good company in the slightest. You really don't want to be gaining turn meter. When uh, I'm I'm running a ray team, that's not going to end well for you, Grievous. It's not going to end well for you. Boom, boom. Why not? Ooh, we're nearly got him, boys. We're nearly got him. Jin, jin, jin. Jin, jin, jin. Boom, boom, boom. He insists on gaining turn meter. I don't know what Zori does. I never use her. I think I used the wrong move. All of this gaining TM, that's not going to work out too well for you, buddy. Ray's going to probably clear the board here. Oh! 
Kind of need to um, keep keep this Poe alive. There we go. Yay! I think it would be fun moment if we could all on stream watch something like a series or a two show. Uh, you mean uh, a watch party? Yeah. I like to use the term ventilate. Nothing wrong with that. Fortified gives TM. It does indeed. It kind of ruins slacker, right? Let's get this other leader's resolve just in case I ever want to have fun with it. Our bold buddy Scribble, the cheese master. Aw, thanks, Platinum. Thank you, buddy. That's very kind of you. How are you doing today? Um, yeah, yeah, so watch parties are a thing. Watch parties are a thing. I guess I never considered doing it on Twitch because I thought as a viewer it wouldn't be entertaining. I thought, um, like, I might be wrong. Do people do watch parties on Twitch? I'm using two zealous ambitions at the moment, Danny. So, two green ones at the moment. I've got a Leader's Resolve, two blue Quickening, stacking offense and heal over time. It's not an ideal setup. Some do. You've not come across many? You haven't looked at... Yeah, it's not something that I've ever looked for either. Um... Hmm. I mean, I don't like either of these teams. Doom, 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 doom. Let's use that um, JMK team again, I think. Or let's have the game crash. Yeah, I'm just going to restart blue stacks very quickly. Um, reaction streams have been pretty big in the past. Yeah, reaction streams can be. Urs did them for the last Star Wars show. What, he did it for Ahsoka, Wolfie? Oh, yeah, sorry, and then you said for Ahsoka did watch-alongs. Fair, fair. But when the episodes actually drop, time zones would make it difficult for you. Yeah, for real, because I think they drop at like 2 a.m. my time, and I can't stay up in the middle of the week. To I, I, I have full-time jobs, guys. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. If I had, like, 20,000 concurrent subs on Twitch, I would do it. But I don't. So I won't. It can be not popular, but I think it could be a good time for most of us to like to watch something and talk about it. Yeah, I'm sure it would be, Kaiju. I'm sure it would be. Sponsored, like... Oh, so, like, some streamers have actually been sponsored by the producers of a show. That's huge. That's huge. I would definitely do it if I was sponsored by them. Holy moly. Holy moly, that's a whole different kettle of fish. I would make time for it then. Because if, like, if a company that did Fallout, for example, I think that's Amazon Prime, right? If they were to sponsor watch parties, then, yes, that's different. What about 55? I'm not Pirate, all right? I'm not Pirate Software. I'm not Thor. I'll settle for 20,000 subs on YouTube. On YouTube? On, on Twitch, obviously. Could you imagine? Imagine how much money that is to have 20 grand, not 20 grand, 20,000 concurrent subs on Twitch in a month. That is insane levels of money, guys. There's only one episode, but they still sponsored it. Hey, it's sponsor is a sponsor is a sponsor. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if that's worth it, worth it, view. I'm not sure if that's worth it. That might be, uh, that might be asking too much, buddy. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Correct, you nerd.
Do, do, do. Like 100k ish per month? No, no. T 20k subs? Like, what would go through? Uh, it depends. Like, if, you, if you're if getting 20k subs a month, you're probably on Twitch Partner Program, and you're probably got getting a better split if they still do them, which means you might be getting 70% of that. So, you might be looking at, like, 70k. Um, maybe a little bit more. But, other than that, you 20k subs, you're probably looking at more like 40 A month. And obviously you'll still have to pay taxes and everything like that on it, but, you know. Let's fix that audio bug. Evening, Carl. How you doing today? I want that, so, that sort of money to start me in only troopers. Hell yeah. I, I believe Twitch is $5 a month to sub, but it's not like that goes to the creator. You know, like, the, there's a revenue split. So Twitch will take 50% of it off basically all Twitch streamers. Um, if if you've got a, a partner agreement with them, and not many partners have got the agreement anymore, you get 70% and Twitch get 30%. So of that $5, you'll get $2.50, for example. There are regional prices for subs. Are they really, Devon? Didn't know that. Didn't know that. Um, you still in Sector 1, Carl? Yeah, no, I tend to push very hard on Conquest. I tend to push very hard on Conquest. Technically, $2.49 and a half. <laughs> I mean, actually... We could try going back in with the old rebel business, couldn't we? Could try and do this again. I mean, it's a lot of drained stamina already. Is the Conquest Pass worth it? The standard one, that's $9.99. Buff Baker Boy? I believe yes. I believe it's a very, very valuable pass. Um, but... Only you can decide how much $10 is worth to you, really. It's very much a subjective thing. Alrighty then. Alrighty. And then... Still waiting for Chupio to take his very first turn. He's working on it, bless him. Blind them. Got him. Hilva! Yeah! Stun him. Or, or don't. Get that tenacity down across the board. God damn. Holy moly, that was loud. Apologies to everybody's ear holes. What happened to Chewy? We missed him. We lost Chewy. Thank you so much, Roger, for the uh, for becoming a member over there on YouTube. You absolute legend, you. What a guy. Yeah, I just need uh, I need uh, I need more stamina to make this work. My my guys are just too slow. They're just too slow, damn it. Calm down, Ezra. Look at him. All them bonus attacks, baby. Oh, you missed. <laughs> Let's just do this for fun. Yay! I think we would have got some blinds. Yeah, appreciate you, Roger. Thank you, man. Less than one lunch eating out, so definitely worth it if you spend money on the game. Yeah, for sure. Does it give a lot of benefits? The main benefit, 
I went over this in my guide. The main benefit is that it gives you access to this premium reward track at the top, right? So all the rewards here. What that realistically means is that you don't need to spend your conquest credits buying the shards for Queen Amidala in this case, only if you've already got 110 shards from the previous conquest, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, so you don't have to spend your shards there, your credits there. So it means that you can spend those credits on getting stuff like signal data, um, relic materials, gear 12 plus pieces, all that sort of business. It's really, really good. Uh, it also helps you catch up on old characters, old conquest characters, and it gives you a bunch of additional consumables that makes the process easier, gives you a bunch of additional uh, datacron materials. The gear, honestly, this is kind of worthless at this point. Um, they implemented these additional core cool pieces of gear before the changes to the raids. So act previously, this gear used to be valuable because it would be like, oh, wow, five stun cuffs, 10 stun cuffs, extra 10 carb anties. Like, wow, that's really useful. Now it's like, who gives a crap? But back then it was good. I find it to be very useful in general. You know? Agreed, Johnny. Yeah, so in, in these situations, normally if you didn't buy the pass, you you'd be you'd be spending your your conquest credits here buying Queen Armadala, right? Now you don't have to. Because you're getting it in the reward track. So you go down and you're like, oh, what can we get? We can get impulse detectors. I wouldn't recommend this. But in the earlier ones, you get a bunch of signal data. Um that's incredibly valuable to get. Bam, 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 bam. Um, I just need a no tank squad. Let's go hut cartel, I guess. Jab is a support. You're a tank. Oh, you you haven't been buying the Queen Amidala shots? Yes, Johnny. You, you, change your ways. You just unlocked Hard Conquest, the second set of Queenie, so I wasn't sure if it'd be worth it. It's it's definitely worth it, because you can use that now. I would then use those credits to buy those shards that you're missing of Queen Armadala and make it easier for you to unlock a next conquest. That's what I would do, personally. If you need to catch up, definitely perk up those shards. Because you don't want to wait for it to go into Proving Grounds. You reach Chromium with 2.4 million GP, is that good? You tell me, Simo. What what are you facing? Are you facing other opponents with that sort of GP? Or have you just been promoted now? So you don't necessarily know. These guys are chonky. Everybody jump, 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 jump around. Get up, jump up, and get down. People are going to be blowing up. Any minute now. Any minute now. Uh oh. Yay, yay. Om nom nom. Proving grounds is the death of unlocks. Agreed. Will we get Amadala Conquest three or two more times? Uh, just one more after this, Kaiju. But she will. She will. Essentially, she'll stop being the focused character after the next conquest. But then she'll be going just like Darth Bane is. So next conquest, you can still earn 90 shards of Queen Amidala by hitting red box. See this over here? 90 shards. And next one, you'll be able to earn 90 shards. The one after that, she'll move over here and she'll be 30 shards and we'll get a new character or ship. Most, most likely a ship over here. That's how it'll go. So instead of 90, you can only earn 30. You'll still be able to buy her from the Jawa Scavenger notes there. Imagine they changed the core gear to Kairos in the paid path. What a good PR move that would be. Won't happen. Honestly, Oxlane, I'd prefer it if they changed it to signal data. Give me more signal data. That's what I want. Gas 501st, sub snips for fives is a great tankless Phoenix killer. Imriel, it's a good shout. Yeah, I do like gas. I hate this team. I hate JTR teams in Conquest. Sec the five JTR Conquest teams. Just the worst. Just the worst, the worst thing that could ever possibly happen to anybody ever. Because they have, quite frankly, ridiculous levels of speed. You're a tank. Hmm. 
What do I want to use? Captain Han. Just throw your Tuscans at them. Rule of two. Behave. I feel this game just don't know how to make money. They know their gear people are low and they wouldn't incentivize to buy passes. Oh, I think they do okay. They make a couple of million each month. They, they struggle by. See, look at the speed on this team, man. I've got an extra 40% speed over here. Let's just, uh, let's just enjoy this for a moment. Get wrecked. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Boop, 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 boop. Normally I would pass, but I feel like we're going to lose Bista. Actually, we've got Captain Hand to revive. So maybe we do. Maybe we do do this and then go... Brup. Aha, we're still okay. Not to worry, we're still flying half a ship. Heal him up. Alright. Boop. <laughs> I love Adrad. Once they hit Malak with either an AoE, Ray likes to target him and it works. Hmm. You did it with uh, C what? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's very tempting to uh, to just power through. God, I'm getting crap data disks towards the end, aren't I? There's only one other data disk node. Um, towards the end of Sector 5, it's often very tempting to just overkill everything with really powerful teams. I need two more battles with no more tanks. That's huge. They have a large stockpile of hardcore Krakens and Whales. Well, to be honest, those Lightspeed bundles that they released was probably just an absolute payday for them. Absolute payday. Can't remember what we're facing. Let's try it again. Did you really, Johnny? That's huge, man. Beyond the obvious joke of being annoying... Uh, Janus, I'm not, I'm not sure what your your math joke was, so it obviously wasn't annoying enough to upset me. Um, what was your math joke? <laughs> Genuinely don't know. You gotta love Night Sisters. Do, 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 do. And Night Sisters, do, 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 do. Let's get some crits, please. Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> love it. All-inclusive vacation to Malaga for the person who came up with the light speed bundles, I'm sure. I mean, Malaga's okay. Yeah, Malaga's okay. Light speed bundle months were some of the highest profits. I bet they were. Your data disks have been balls this time. Really, Hotel? That sucks, dude. Humble com Contemptment. Attackers gain a percentile defense equal to their protection. Gain percent. Gain additional defense equal to their. That would be insane. So if a, if an attacker if, if an attacker has got like fifty thousand protection, you're saying you give them fifty thousand additional defense. Fifty thousand percent defense. One does massive damage after giving ten buffs and stacking with a three times health up. Yep. How much? Oh, sorry. No, no, that wasn't annoying at all, buddy. Not a tying at all. Just randomly diverted from your work project and did back and forth, did the back and forth napkin math. No, Jan Janus, honestly, dude, that wasn't annoying in the slightest. Zealous ambition does stack, yeah, buff. Light speed bundles, but uh, light speed bundles, but buddies from conquest. Do you mean conquest characters as light speed bundles? I can't see them doing that, Kaichu. Maybe, but I, you know, to be fair, I couldn't have seen them doing light speed bundles. Never would have seen that coming, but they did. They need a pack with Zetas and Omis to be sold with light speed bundles. That'd be huge. Give me, give me a, give me a goddamn uh, light speed bundle that just gives me Zetas and Omis, and I'll be a happy chat. Well, crew, you're a tank. Can I just take in slack or solo? You reckon? Might be pushing it a little. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Let's just go slacker solo. <laughs> 
finally catches the Conquest God live once. Hey, how's it going, playlist? Um, who do I fear the most? Probably DR? Probably? Not actually entirely sure. Let's find out. I don't think I've got any TM data discs, so... I definitely fear Basti the most because of that ability block. Well, I don't fear her anymore. She's no longer a, a, a scary person to me. Poke. Nice hit. <laughs> nice hit there. Nice hit there, buddy. Yeah, let's go ahead and suck him off. Siphon him off. Yep, good sucky sucky action coming out of Malak. Yike. Boop. We might as well siphon some mastery off Malak. Oh, bye HK. I want to finish with the ult. If in doubt, ult it out. Boop. No worries, Kaichu. Would mind a 30-day Bane calendar that gives 50 to 60 shards, or even it may last until the end of one conquest cycle. Hmm. They'd have to charge quite a bit for it. Jabba Solo will one-shot each person with a detonator. That's true, Janus. That's true. But we've done all our no-tanks now. Uh, just unlocked Slacker recently, so mind showing the mods? Yeah, sure, Johnny. Like my, I don't think my, my mods are particularly good on Slacker. Let's just grab... Ugh. They're all kind of trash. Grab this power data disk. You recently finally gotten Slacker? You thought I wasn't missing anything? He's such a great tool to have. Ah, oh, he's brilliant. Yeah, Slacker is a very, very useful character. So, my Slacker, like I said, my, my Slacker is Relic 8. He's not modded particularly well. I've gone for a chonky build on him. So, we're rocking 198,000 health, just shy of 200k. And bugger all speed. I wish he was faster, truth be told. I should really get that speed up a little bit. Uh, and that's it, really. That's it. Like, it's just, it's just he's designed to be chonky. If I could get him, like, 40 speed quicker, I'd be very happy. But um, I can't see us being able to do that. Oof, calibration on this is awful. That's a lot of defense. I need to redo the mods on this. It's not a good, not a good setup. Get rid of that, potentially. There's no point calibrating at this point. Cool. Yeah, my slacker is way too slow. I'd, I'd ra rather have like an extra 30, 40 speed on him. Symmetry, that's a very easy one. Rome. I haven't been many places. I'm not a well-traveled individual, but out of everywhere I've visited, Rome left me with the most amount of awe. It's an impressive city, Rome is. Very impressive. Um, so we could get some Inquisitorious kills as we work our way through. You want your slacker a with a healthy balance of good health, speed, and offense? I disagree, playlist, to be honest. I think if you've got a fast and healthy slacker, that's all that matters. He really doesn't need offense. He doesn't. It's nice, don't get me wrong, it's nice to have. But honestly, if he survives, he kills anything. The only thing that's a risk to him is him dying too quickly. Did I enjoy the food in Rome? I did. Italian food? Oh, forget about it. <laughs> Love it. Um, yeah, I, I personally don't think Slacker needs much offense at all. If you've got him at like Relic 7, Relic 8, he's got enough offense. He ramps so much crit chance, crit damage and offense through his siphon. Far more than any other GL. That as long as he survives, you win. And I feel like that's the most important part. But yeah, the, the most important part for me on Rome was just visiting the buildings. And I, I'm to, to reiterate on the Slacker comment, you can certainly mod him to be very fast and very offensive and still do fine. Yeah, absolutely you can. Um, I just find that a healthy build is more versatile and is more reliable. Let's just go ahead and throw this out. Massive health isn't super easy to get. I, I completely agree that it's it's... It's a lot harder to get an effective and strong, healthy mod set on Slacker than it is to just go speed or offense. 100% agree with you there. 100%. You, you'd need 
a decent mod depth in order to do that. As you can see, my slacker was below 500 speed, which is really not very good. Nice sucky sucky action. Oh, come on. How did that not defeat him? That was rude. That was so rude. See the Colosseum? Of course. Yep. Saw the Colosseum. Saw the Pantheon. Saw the Spanish Steps. Went to the Vatican. What else did we do? Um, we went through the catacombs. We visited the Trevi Fountain. It was amazing. It was amazing. Really enjoyed it. And I'm going back there next year. If two slackers fight off against each other, which one will win? Thick or fast and offense? Fast and offensive, I imagine, Ardahan. It depends, obviously. It depends. Um, but I imagine the faster one would win. But generally speaking, the one who wins will be the one who, which the player controls. Did I eat carbonara? I'm not sure if I had carbonara there. Slacker gains so much max health when he gains bonus TM. He loses it 10% each time. If you have so much max health, it isn't that bad for Slacker. He shouldn't be gaining TM in general. Seven out of the top ten fastest builds in the game are on Ray. Is that really true, Rule? I wouldn't have thought that. I would not have thought that in the slightest. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Let's uh, let's just go big boy. Let's go big boy now. Um, Inquisitory has. Um, and then who should we have? Let's have Royal Guard. Got him! He needs decent offense, so you might not kill key characters fast enough. Leaving Maul barely in the red feels bad, but he can make it up with Krons. You're probably right, yeah. Just unlocked Ray, got it to R7. Given my first GL was Leia. There's a noticeable power drop. Oh, Ray is, like, the best defensive GL in the game. She's so amazing. Ray is the tits. Good sucky sucky action, buddy. Nice sucky sucky action, buddy. I wish the Sith Empire trooper would stop taunting. That would be nice. Oh, come on. Grand Inquisitor, will you kill that damn Malak? He's just sat there like a douchebag in red health. Stupid shock. This doesn't cleanse, does it? No. Get wrecked, you nerd. Don't like you. Boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah, let's decrease your defense, I think. Oop. <sighs> Dropping fat stacks. I wish I didn't have shock all of the time. <laughs> he died of sadness. He died because he was really sad. Boo boo. Now you die. Got him. Um, Ray has a high base speed, so I think people make her fast for the memes. Maybe, maybe. You mean from TM passes from Hux and Foo? Um, yeah. Oh, sorry, you're talking about the gaining and losing of max health. Yeah. Hmm. Is there a way to see how many times I've refreshed energy? Can't figure out if I've done the... There isn't Janus, actually. It's annoying. The only way you'll be able to tell is if you click it once, it'll come up with how much it costs now. Uh, 
Ray is the most boring character in the game? I wouldn't go that far, Rule. Most boring GL, let me think. Eh, probably. I don't think she's boring, though. Hux is a bonus turn, isn't it? Do you know uh, what Zetas you need for Seer Junda, Jedi Knight Calcastis for the Rote event? I don't. I've just had them all. Diddle the most boring GL is JML. <gasps> you take that back, Grievous. You've been doing four refreshes a day during Conquest, all three of the 50s and one 100. This will be the second day, so I don't know if I've done one or two. Oof. His ult is just stat boosting and the ability to ignore cooldowns. And cooldowns? The ability to ignore taunts on the entire team and a complete cooldown reset on the entire team and to reduce his cooldowns permanently on his two abilities. But yeah, it's just a stat boost. Don't kid yourself, buddy. JML's ult is awesome. The most boring GL is Cup. JMK without Cap is pretty... Cat is pretty boring? Yeah, just takes ages for him to ramp. Hey, Raimi, how you doing? Right, I need to actually think about what I'm doing here, because I'm not paying enough attention. You will not convince us. JML is boring as... I disagree, man. Like, you throw that... You throw 100% protection datacron on him? Holy moly. Calling to assist for 140,000 points of damage? And you find that boring? For shame. I do think that he, he definitely wins the prize for the most useless lightsaber. Definitely wins that prize. Let's let's use JML, shall we? Actually, no, I want to use Galactic Republic. Because I, I want to finish off the Galactic Republic feat that I've been neglecting. Let's just go 5 first, shall we? Most boring GL is Lord Vader. Using Lord Vader without any of the fun characters, like no Maul and no Reva in a Lord Vader team is dull. It's really slow. It's just like, oh my god, we do nothing. <laughs> we do absolutely nothing. Leaders resolve with gas. That's a lot of protection he's got there. Let's cleanse all that crap off. Alright. Call in Echo. I was expecting more damage than that. Yoink! We definitely need gas to get in here and slap Visa's Mar about the face a little bit. Reduce that max health of hers so she's not, you know, incredibly hard to put down. There we go, she's gone. Good. Good. That's poor timing. Vader's about to go into Merciless and gas just dropped. Maybe if we're very lucky, we can just if I just do a basic. Yeah, that didn't, didn't, didn't deal nearly enough damage. Ah, uh, well, we lost fives. Apparently, this, this go-round, all we're doing is just losing units all the time. Just losing units every day. Here it comes. Bringing down the Star Destroyer. Holy crap! What did that Star Killer eat for breakfast, dude? Holy moly! Holy moly! All right, just take multiple turns. See if I care. No, oh, don't daze my gas, please. We're so dead. That daze kind of ruined it. SK is a painting conquest. 
He's clearly had the dreamies. He has had the dreamies, Womp. He has. I was just tr I was just trying to get some Galactic Republic victories. That's, can can you blame a guy? Can you blame a guy? Yes, his on Omicron is on. Yeah. His Omicron is unfortunately on. I hate it when you try to s try to cycle through your your squads. It just clicks one and, and chooses to try and load it. I don't think I don't like any of these. We could try and light side Mando. I think it's a bit of a risk. I think it's a bit of a risk. Let's do it anyway. Which one is more fun, Malakos or Bane? I think Malakos is a better designed character. Bane is fun just for the pure stupidity. Like, Bane is too much, guys. I, I'll be honest, in my personal opinion, Bane is too much. Like, I don't think there should be any one team, because he's not even a team, that literally kills anything. And, like, doesn't even struggle to do it. You know what I mean? I think it there, there shouldn't be one thing that's like, yep, no matter what I see on defense, this guy is going to win. Like, I don't like that. I don't think it's a good concept to have in this sort of game. It's fun. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy it. I don't think it's a good thing, though. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Boop -de -boop -de -boop. We are so going to eat a capital ship to the face. If we can just, you know... Not die. God, fuck this, man. Like, it's getting really annoying now. I'm going to have to overkill it. It's so annoying. Pure fun, I'd say Malakos over Bane. I, yeah. Like I said, like, Bane is just fun because it's just kind of crazy what he does, right? Yeah, we can dash it. That's no problem. I was trying to do feats, guys. I wasn't trying to... Oh, this will definitely win. I was trying to get feats done. But it seems as if that's not on the cards for us today. I'll just throw in Hermit Yoda or something. He's almost too OP? I think he is too OP, Wolfie. Like, genuinely. I... Like... I just think he's too OP. It's... It, it feels like... I, I can't... I, I, I don't know how to articulate it correctly. It feels like it removes the enjoyment out of defense when you just can't defend against something. This is getting really bloody annoying now. I'm, I'm getting a little bit peeved by this team constantly just survive. There we go. Surviving everything. IG-11. He's the solution, apparently. IG11 says, Yeet. I told... I lolled at your vid when you were ranking GLs and said Bane. I mean, Bane is basically a GL, right? He He's that powerful. Using Malakos on in Gak is so much fun. Yeah, I, I, I like I, like I said, I, I believe that Malakos is a is a better designed character for the game, and he's very fun to play. Yeah, you can't you can't set an underman team on defense in GAC. That's not a thing. What I, I'm not looking at what team we're facing here. What team are we facing? Darth Vader. This team has got ridiculous amounts of speed. Let's do this then. Let's get our salty Omicron out. <laughs> Where did he get the boulders from? To st from on a on a star destroyer. Where does he get built? <laughs> yeet, yeet, ski. Nice. Good start. Oh, come on now. Don't give me silly nonsense. 
Everybody's dazed, right? On T3 isn't. Like that... That shore trooper is just made of, I don't know, titanium or something. 95k wasn't even enough to get rid of some of his, uh, all of his health. <laughs> I was like, come on, man. Do something to him. A 95k basic, and it's just like, yeah, I'll, I'll take away 70% of your health. 45k. Nothing. Hey, there we go. So he's only got about 150k health. That's okay, then. I'll try and put this on auto, but I doubt we win from here. Especially not with an ability block. Bye, BB. We love you. Can we change the target over here? Or is it not going to matter because I'm not going to get a turn? Yeah, I'm not going to get a turn. We nearly got through the Stormtrooper. We nearly had him for a minute. So close. Sorty, I need you to counter or something. Counter attack, Sorty. Go on. There we go. <laughs> Piat just hiding the whole battle. Vibranium. Yeah, something like that. As an offensive character, he is better than Sith Eternal, which makes feels a bit wrong. You're talking about um you're talking about Bane now. Yeah. Bane is kinda nutty. The end of, um, the end of sector, this, this flipping sector, sector five is just incredibly frustrating, incredibly frustrating. Because it's just like everybody has got masses and masses of stats. Uh, yeah, playlists, it's usually how it goes. I usually, f like, turn off my brain, and uh, things obviously don't work. Like I've just done here. I'm supposed to have IG-12 and Grogu here, and I've taken them out of the team. So I've just made this completely pointless in running now. See what I mean? Turning off brain. I was supposed to remove this guy. Oh, there we go. Oh, is he dazed? I didn't even see it. Oh, for God's sake, I was just trying to click off the fucking button. Jesus Christ. I'm having a mare. I'm having an absolute mare here. Come on, man. Stop being silly. Call him in, please. Thank you. Yeah, why not? Oop. Yeah, call in Hermit Yoda. No damage. Boop. Go on, get rid of him. Oh, don't. That's fine too. That's fine too. Yeah, him. Can't dodge that attack, buddy. Wow, are we actually killing things? Are we actually killing things? Uh, the final for, uh, b final boss battle is the most frustrating thing. I hope she's not like that at all, all the time. Um, I think I don't think that when she comes to the game, she'll be the same. I think she'll thematically she'll have similarities. I think she's going to be a very tanky team in general. But I think once Master Ben and Qui Gon Jin, Master Qui Gon Jin and Padawan Ben come to the game then it's going to be a little bit different. Yeah, I don't think this will be reflective. Like, I don't think this is reflective of Master Qui-Gon Jinn's kit, and I don't think this is reflective of Padawan Obi-Wan's kit. I don't think that's the case. I might be wrong, of course. Should we see Bane this?
Well, apparently playlist, they're just, um, they're just sending whatever you got last time as your rewards. What do I want to do here? Get rid of you, I guess. And I guess I get rid of Padme as well, because she's annoying. You are your own worst enemy in this squad. So you, you don't really want to hurt them. Don't really want to hurt them. I'm just going to basic. Oh, dear. I almost feel like I should I should hold off <laughs> just for a moment. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, what the hell, Bane? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um, all right, then. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. That was perfect holding. That's the perfect amount of holding off that I wanted to do. Perfect. DB official is alive. Not Swigger, but there's not much to do in the game anyways. I mean, there's Conquest, right? What's DB playing then? They don't elaborate on it though. It will contain shards, Kyra. Oh, yeah, I don't know playlist. No idea. Because we do very well in, in special missions and stuff like that. Um, and we typically tend to get a lot of Reaver shards. And we obviously break through into Zephyr and we earn all the stars there. Um, so are we going to get the Kyra tech? Are we going to get the get three? Oh, he's he's playing his, um, his web three first person shooter tournament, I think. Let's do that again because, you know, wah, wah, gas. Behave. They said most relevant. Probably most recent, not most relevant. Did they really say most relevant? That doesn't make any sense. My Bane is too afraid. Very afraid. She's so fine. She's got just what it takes. <laughs> How tanky is this Sith Empire trooper going to be? Although I suppose I can just sap his mastery, can't I? I'll just be sapping his mastery with Bane Alicious. Which means no max health. Well, sapping his max health, rather. I'm still having nightmares of timing out versus C uh, versus set. You're worried your guild rotates rote in Darkside Geo? I'm hoping it's not the Geo rewards. I, I'm, for your sake, Wamprat, I hope so. A large stimmy. What do we got? I mean, blue entrenched again. Yeah, well, I had all of my fun data discs at the start. Bo Katan Mandalore. So, I'm going Jed Knight Luke. I'll go Jed Knight Cal Kestis. Jed Knight Revan. Um. I think something like this could work. Let's check it out. You timed out on C versus Malak and Gak. Yep. Stupid Datacron that basically gives him potent tenacity up. Oh yeah, yeah. Dispelled gives potency up and tenacity up. 
frustration. My echo! Well, that did not work out very well, did it? That did not work out very well. We didn't get a turn. No turns for us. Alright, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun, shall we? No speed boosters right now. Let's see if there's a speed booster in the previous stall. Darkside Geo was last, but get a good score in Rote, you lose a lot. Yeah. Tenacity booster, that's not useful. That's not useful to us. Defense booster. Alright. Ooh, initial frenzy tech is always good. Oh, what? I'd have to wait. Son of a gun. Three different attempts, first run of Conquest before he took a turn. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how I did it. I've done it a number of ways. Um, but obviously, when you've got slightly different data disk setup, slightly different stamina, it makes it a little bit trickier. Alrighty. Alrighty. Normally, we'd be doing TB now. But, CG did something a bit weird. Yeah, most relevant is a very odd choice of words, truth be told. Use Dash with as much zealous ambition and leader's resolve as I could. Yep, that's always a good time. King of Conquest. He's great. A la Madrid. Uh, Madrid playing, out of him? What did I spend my credit on? My one credit. Uh, I'm still holding on to that one credit. You know, you just never know where you're going to need it. So, you know what they say? Look after the pennies and the credits will look after themselves. Something like that. Something like that. boo ba doo boo boo Dude. But yeah, Dash is a... Dash and... Um, what's his face? Adrad. Lots of fun. Visus Ma. There's another great one. Can't spend it. It holds too much sentimental value. It's... Yeah, it's... You know, you should never spend your first credit. And that's kind of like the first credit. So... You should never spend it, guys. Don't spend it. Hey, big spender... Boom, boom, ba boom. Spend a little time with me. Uh oh. About to max out our uh, data cache currency. I'm going to have to get myself some extra data crons. We're going to need them crons. Going to need them good. Roll them up. Hope you get some food. Now I'm hungry. Great. Somebody mentioned food, and now Scribble's hungry. You ruined it, guys. Four more wins with Galactic Repubic. Guess we'll do that tomorrow, and then we'll smash out these over the next couple of days. And that. And then these will fulfill themselves. Oh, and that one. We'll get that one done. Cool. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Decent enough progress on the old Conquestuals. Alrighty, then. I think I will probably call it there then, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a real one. Um, sorry, messages. Work never ends. Work never ends. Late night lasagna it is. Ah, uh, chili con carne, actually. Chili con carne. All right, let's see who's live right about now. And we'll see, uh, we'll see about raiding some people. Actually, let's go send DB some love. Sending some D DB some love over on Twitch, guys. And YouTube, let's see who we have available over here. Who do we have available on the old tubes, I wonder? Let's figure this out. Who have we got? Um, Wrangler up and coming, so I guess I'll... I'll put that up. All right, guys. Cool. It's been real. Thank you for joining me today. Um, we won't be live tomorrow, but we will be live on Friday, okay? So if you guys want to come around, we'll, we might do some roster reviews. We might do some more conquest. Who knows what we'll get up to on Friday, but it's a late night stream. We'll have a good time and uh, I'll catch you all there. I'll catch you all there. Peace out, guys. Big love.